diagnosed uh, a year ago, September, and I'll never forget the first words my doctor said to me. Uh, he goes, don't worry, Steve, almost no one dies from this anymore. <laughs> now, I won't lie. I was uh, very apprehensive. In fact, there were probably times where I could use the word scare, and I'll tell you why. Because we all grow up, you know, with friends and family over the years who, who have gotten cancer and have gotten chemo, and they lose their hair, they lose weight, they look dead, and it, and it's, it's, it can be a pretty frightening thing. Well, lo and behold, my oncologist tells me uh, they've made so many great advancements in cancer treatment and chemotherapy over the years, the last 15 years in particular, that uh, I wasn't going to lose my hair. I may or may not lose some weight. There's variables there. And I may or may not get sick. So, uh, you know, there was some good news there, glass half full. In any case, um, I was still very apprehensive. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's chemotherapy. And uh, there, there's really not a lot of good you can put on that. So leading up to my first treatment, I flashed back to a friend of mine in California who had sent me a photo a few years back of him wearing clown shoes. And he, he said, Steve, you cannot be in a bad mood wearing clown shoes. So uh, about two weeks leading up to my first chemo treatment, I went on Amazon.com and started looking for clown shoes. I found a really lovely pair. Let me show them to you, Dave. Yeah. These are, uh, these are pretty styling right here. Oh. You see them? <laughs> so I took the shoes in a bag to my first, along with a book, because the treatment was four and a half hours. And I took him in a bag and uh, sat him next to me at the when I sat in the chair at, at the clinic. And the nurse uh, did a little dress work on my IV on my arm. And she goes, OK, let's hook you up. So I said at the last second, I had just this little bit of hesitation. I'm in a, I'm in a clinic with six or eight other people who are receiving chemotherapy. Nobody's happy. Uh you know, it's just not that kind of thing. Yeah. And so I had a little hesitation. And then at the last second, and I'm not an overly uh, religious guy. I have my beliefs, but uh, it kind of felt like God tapped me on the shoulder and said, Steve, bust out the clown shoes. And I mean, instantaneously, the nurse started laughing out loud. She starts calling over the other nurses. They're laughing. I looked around the clinic and noticed that one guy was laughing hysterically and and some <laughs> of the other some of the other women were had big smiles on their faces. So I realized at that second that not only was this doing some good for me, but it just lit up the whole clinic. Everybody all of a sudden was, you know, in this happy smiling mood. Beautiful. And it was like it was like it was meant to be. Yeah. And uh, so I wore the, the the shoes for the whole four hours. And um, they also give you a lot of liquid. So you got to go to the bathroom a lot during the treatment. You unplug yourself and walk into the bathroom. Did you go and, flip, uh, flop, flip, flop, Peter? Pan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was when I discovered that was when I discovered the downside of clown shoes. You have to walk very very carefully but they made they must have been think laughing even more at that oh absolutely absolutely so it's gotten to the point now I, I i actually i had a short treatment a few weeks ago only an hour so i left the shoes in my truck and uh when i got into the clinic one of the other patients looked over and says where's your shoes I said, oh, I left them in the truck. Guy says, I wanted to take a picture of those and, and, and send it to all my friends. He goes, I just think this is the greatest thing in the world. So uh, I've brought them ever since, you know, every every treatment after that, I've, I've worn them. And and it, it, it's really been a, just a great experience. I mean, every when I put them on, all these people, you know, we're all in the same boat uh, to one degree or another. And uh, everybody smiles. The nurses walk by and pinch the end of my shoes. And uh, it, it just, you know, I, I realized all of a sudden this isn't just about me. It's about all of us. Yeah. And, and, and it did give me a very good feeling. And I told the nurse uh, last week, I said, you know, 
Uh, my last treatment's April 3rd. So uh, when I'm done, I'm going to leave these shoes here with you guys. And I said, if you have a patient that comes in who's never gotten chemo uh, before and, and they're apprehensive or nervous or scared, bust out the chemo shoes. Yeah. And I got to tell you, Dave, it, it's not just for chemo. I mean, I'll sit around the house sometime, and if I start getting a little down, I'll throw on the clown shoes. You know, you can't beat it. So that's that's pretty much my whole story on the clown shoes. And it just turned out to be such a wonderful thing. Uh, not Again, not just for me, but for everybody involved. And uh, it's something I'll never forget, that's for sure.